Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Hales, and I make videos about the books that I'm reading. Today I'm going to be talking about the way that I rate books that I read. So I'm going to be talking about the different things that impact how I feel about a book and why I rate certain things five stars or what might get a book three stars and what might get a book DNF. First off, I'm going to talk about a five-star book, and for example, I'm going to go with Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare, because that was the first five-star book that came to mind. So if you haven't read this, I would suggest not watching this part of the video, because it might get a little spoilery. So I'm a very emotional reader. I get very into the books that I read. So for me, a lot of books tend to get a five star rating. I can't really, <laughs> I get very attached to the characters if they go through anything. I'm like, okay, we're in this together. And now you are like my best friend. We are going through this. I've got your back. We're in this together. Especially when it comes to fantasy books, I'm like, I get very involved and I get very sucked into the story. So I typically have to, I, I, there's something about it that just makes it a five star read for me. I think it's because I get so invested and I get so sucked into the storyline that I feel a part of the story that just for me makes stuff like that kind of, um, feel very personal. I'm like, I feel like I've gone through this whole journey with the characters, which like, when it comes to Queen of Air and Darkness, the end of Lord of Shadows going into Queen of Air and Darkness was so like, raw and personal for me, <laughs> that just like, dealing with this death was horrifying which is so weird to say about a book but I felt it and it was just so I I remember reading Queen of Air and Darkness I'd taken it to school with me because I couldn't stop reading it and just tears streaming down my face before my class had started and I was just getting these looks and I'm like, I can't help it. <laughs> like, I just, I could not, I just, I get attached and I get wrapped up in the storyline. And then because I'm so attached, I have to give it a five. Four star reads are typically books like Sarah Dessen's books, like the romance and contemporary books that... I'm not super into, but I still really like. When it comes to Sarah Dessen's books specifically, I am always really interested in them, but I'm not as invested in the characters and the storylines as I would be if I were reading a fantasy book. So that's why they tend to get one star taken off because I don't feel as invested in the storyline as I would be in a fantasy where they're more like high stakes, action, you're more involved in the storyline, you feel more like you're a part of the story. Because I never really feel that with books like um, The Moon and More and um, or like John Green books. I don't feel as invested in the story or a part of the story, I feel more like I'm reading a book, I guess, like how you're intended I, to feel, I guess, what the author wants you to feel as you're reading the book, like you're sitting there reading, as opposed to feeling so engulfed in the story that you're not in your world which is kind of where the two differentiate for me. Three star reads for me are like R.L. Stein books that are just the ones that are standalones. They 
they're good, they're fast, you can read a lot of them in one sitting, but they're not something that I typically feel like really super happy with in the end because for example, um, I had read one and the ending was very, it was like they kind of made it seem like it was gonna be one way and then it ended up being all a dream. And then they were like, or was it? Or was it? And I didn't really, I don't really like that concept. I want there to be a solid ending. So books like that, typically I'm gonna give a three star to. So that was, that's typically what um, a lot of R.L. Stein books do. They kind of leave a speculative ending and I don't really like that. The only ones that don't really do that are his books that are um, in a series. So you've got like the, uh, the Babysitter series or the Cheerleaders. They don't do that. They have like a solid plot line and you know what the ending is and I really enjoy that. But for the ones that are standalones, they typically get like three stars because of how they end. Oh, okay, and anything under a three star. That's really difficult for me because I hate to DNF a book. I don't like to leave a book unfinished. Even if it sits on my bedside table for a year and a half and I haven't touched it, I still want to go back to it and see if it gets better. And I typically will. And if it takes me three years to read the whole book, that's okay to me because I feel so bad about having spent the money on it even though I could just sell it again. But like, I feel bad rating a book like one or two stars on Goodreads or giving it a bad review because it's somebody's cup of tea, you know? It's not mine, but somebody probably likes it a lot. I don't, I can't get through it. But that I then I also wanna see what other people do like about it so I want to finish it I was actually having that issue with strange the dreamer where I was like how does anybody like this book why does anybody like this book when is the story gonna pick up and then all of a sudden it did pick up and I was really happy with it and that's why I don't like to DNF a book because like Strange the Dreamer, it turned out to be really good and now it's one of my favorite books and I'm really excited to start the next one. But it doesn't always end up like that. So it gets a little hard to determine which books you should kind of sit on the back burner and which ones you should really continue to read and try and see if they're really gonna work for you. So that's it for how I rate books and try not to DNF. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and click the little bell so that you get notified every time I post. Bye!